What's up everybody, Pino E here. I was originally planning on doing the history of the Air Jordan 8s this week, but with the Dornbecker 7s leaking yesterday, I decided to look at the history of the Air Jordan Dornbecker collection. Let's start with the basics. Nike involves themselves with a lot of charities, and one of their annual events is focused towards the Dornbecker Children's Hospital. Every year, children who are at the Dornbecker Hospital are chosen to work with Nike designers to create a colorway on an existing model. The children get a lot of creative freedom to tell their story through their shoe and the proceeds of the sales from that shoe get donated back to the hospital by Nike. 2007 was the first time an Air Jordan model was included in the Dornbecker collection and the model that was chosen was the Air Jordan 2. The shoe was designed by Sheridan Brenton who was 13 when these released. Sheridan was in a car accident at the age of 10 and he suffered multiple broken bones in his face and he lost an arm in that accident. The shoes released November 9th, 2007, and the inspiration behind this model was a chameleon because that was Sheridan's favorite animal. Less than 400 pairs were made, and the retail price of this shoe was $140, but if you're looking for a pair now, they'll cost you around $1,200. In 2008, Tony Taylor Jr., aka Mr. Boober, was tapped on the shoulder to help Nike design the Dornbecker Air Jordan 1. Tony underwent a kidney transplant at the age of 16, and to signify his triumph, he added the palm trees with a black color fading to blue. The tongue includes a picture of Tony holding a basketball with a quote, I'm fresh underneath the picture because in high school, he always had the fresh kicks and clothes and was known as the fresh kid. The blue and yellow along with the number 15 on the heel was chosen because of Mr. Boober's favorite basketball player, Carmelo Anthony. And just below the 15 are the numbers 4407, signifying the date he received his transplant. 1,000 pairs released on November 14th for $125, but if you want this pair today, it'll cost you around 1000 The Air Jordan 6 Dornbecker was designed in 2008 by Jordan Dark. The shoe is composed of a navy blue suede upper with the numbers 6 and 8 stamped, and these numbers signify the date Jordan began his chemotherapy. The shoe is mainly designed as a tribute to his favorite baseball team, the Atlanta Braves, which could be seen by the baseball style stitching on the upper and the diamond pattern stitch details on the insole. The original retail price for these was $165, but today pairs are running for $1,200. The Air Jordan 3 Dornbecker was released in 2010, and the designer behind the shoe was Cole Johansson. Behind the tongue, Cole put his two favorite foods, spaghetti and chocolate. The insole contains the words courage and strength, which represents the children of Dornbecker. And one little known fact about this shoe, and let me know in the comments below if you knew this, and don't lie, it's in regards to the upper. The upper contains a diagonal grid pattern with shapes within the squares, but did you know those shapes actually spell Cole's name? Anyway, originally released on November 12, 2010 for $160, this shoe was also the only pair of Dornbeckers which would retro on June 20th for $160. Pairs of the shoe are now running for around 800 The 2011 Dornbecker collection included the Air Jordan 4, which was designed by Isaiah Scott. While going through his treatment for leukemia, the nurse's staff and his parents would refer to him as Superman for how he was handling the situation. Due to this nickname, the Superman logo was placed on the tongue of the shoe and his face was put on the side. These released on November 5th and pairs are currently reselling for $1,500 and up. In 2012, the Jordan brand team teamed up with Oswaldo Jimenez to release the Air Jordan 9 Dornbecker. The main inspiration behind the shoe is his proud Mexican heritage. Oswaldo's nickname Polito is featured on the tongue and the insole, and on the heel is the number 17, which is Oswaldo's favorite number. Paying homage to his hometown of Queretaro, Mexico is the sole of the shoe, which is an icy translucent sole with hits of red and green detailing. These originally released on November 30th, 2012 for $175, but today pairs are going for $750 and up. Daniel Pena was the kid selected to design the Air Jordan 10 Dornbecker, which released on November 23rd, 2013 for $170. Daniel is a massive fan of Michael Jordan with incredible knowledge of MJ's stats, career, and shoes. The shoe's upper has a glossy camel print, which is inspired by his love of video games and contains a special logo on the side containing his name's initials. The back heel tab is a tire tread print, which represents his love for BMX riding, and this was the first time the 10 ever received the translucent sole. Resale prices for this model start at $400. The Dornbecker 5 is unique and special, and it was released in September 2013. 
As sneaker collectors, we sometimes forget that behind each design and model that is released as part of the Dornbecker collection, there are strong, brave children and their families going through tough moments. Isaac or Zaddy, and my apologies if I mispronounced the last name, was one of those children. He had a love for baseball and basketball and in 2012 suffered a heart attack during basketball practice and he required open heart surgery. While recovering, he began drawing sketches of the Air Jordan 5. Shortly after, he recovered and he was able to cheer his team on from the bleachers. However, in April 2012, the 12-year-old Isaac suffered from a second heart attack which he would not survive. Nike and the Dornbecker Hospital invited Isaac's family to work together to finish the design. The number 9 and 31 were placed on the shoe representing his baseball and basketball jersey numbers. The inside of the tongue included Isaac's initials along with his date of birth and passing and when exposed to black light, the upper features the words from a poem that Isaac wrote just a day before passing away. Truly a sad story and a reminder why Nike continues releasing the collection in support of the hospital and the children. The Air Jordan 8 Dornbecker is probably the most colorful and playful shoe released in the Jordan Dornbecker collection and it was designed by Caden Lampert. The shoe is covered in quotes like hang loose, rock on and brave and contains personal details like the number 14 which is his jersey number displayed on top of the straps with his brother's names Blake and Rylan written underneath. Originally released on November 23rd 2014, this pair is now reselling for $800 and up. The Air Jordan selected for 2015 was the 13 and they were designed by John Charles. This shoe is covered in personal details. As a fan of soccer, there's a soccer ball on the sole and his jersey number 13. He can raise one eyebrow and a cartoon kid with one eyebrow raised is displayed. He also found he could swallow seven pills at once to manage his illness so the seven pills are represented on the shoe. His twin brother Jonah is on the sock liner along with his dog Tegan and an Egyptian pyramid since that's the one place he would like to travel. The lace tips say Chicken and Jojo's as a nod to his favorite food and his name John and Charles are on the top of each toe box. Released last year on November 21st for $225, this shoe is now reselling for prices starting at $500. And the story behind the 2016 Air Jordan 7 Dornbecker is still to be told, but we do know the shoe is created by Damien Phillips, which takes inspiration from his love of guitar by placing a character of Damien playing the guitar on the sole of the shoe with the words, Super Explosive written. The official unveiling will take place on October 28th, but the release date and prices have yet to be determined, so stay tuned for more info. Well everybody, that does it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, join the squad. If you have something to say, leave it in the comments below. And I'm out!